today we are here at the Chicago Do Something Boot Camp. So Do Something holds boot camps in cities across the United States to train these young social entrepreneurs who have an idea, and maybe it's they have a not-for-profit, maybe they have a program, but they just need a little help getting it off the ground. This crowd of teenagers and 20-somethings from Chicago and beyond came to boot camp to change the world. And we're really trying to train young people in Uganda to run this organization completely on their own. Do Something is a New York-based nonprofit that helps motivate and support young people who are interested in volunteering, organizing, and fundraising. We're not waiting for you to lead. We're not teaching you so you can lead when you're 40 and old. We think you guys can lead right now. And you already There's no shortage of ideas here. The name of my organization is Brighter Dawns. My main focus area is improving the slum conditions outside of Taka, the capital of Bangladesh. I have two cousins with autism and I love them very much and I'm also on the improv team so that's when I thought of improvement and I want to do uh, improv troops can put on charity shows. Extending the Link is a student-run nonprofit organization that tells international uh, stories through documentaries and what sets us apart is that we always bring a component of service back to our audience. So the end of the Do Something Boot Camp is the best part. We bring in local not-for-profit leaders, CEOs, volunteers, whatever, and they're coming in to share their knowledge. And these young people, we want to give them practice with their elevator speech, with their two-minute pitch. So they have two minutes to pitch the adult across the table from them, and then the adult gives two minutes of feedback, and then they switch. The uh, young people have two minutes to pitch their project. We're going to ring some bells and tap you and warn you that it's the two-minute warning. Ready, set, go! Alright, so as I told you, I started in Bangladesh. And after seeing those slum conditions, I really wanted to... I, I just couldn't eat for a, almost like a month. I was compelled to do something. They're all competing against each other for a cash prize. At the end, three winners will be chosen, and each will be given a $500 grant for their organization. I need a lot of help. I mean, I need... Our, we have no funding right now. I need to figure out how to get some sort of structure going. You need to be more specific in what you're asking. It's, we're getting better. We're getting better. How so? We're just we're having a little more fun. After you document it, I mean, where is it? Is it on the your university website? Yeah, we have a YouTube account, and we have. Um, we give out our DVDs to anybody who wants them. He's asking me for uh, my information. He's going to give me his information. So. We're going to do good things. Articulating their ideas isn't always easy. They get tongue-tied and more than a little overzealous. But with each new pitch, they refine their presentation. Yeah, that's great. He said to try and engage um, more of what his nonprofit does. In the end, three other pitches were chosen, including Jonathan Bell's who pitched his anti-hunger organization, Global Fast. He used his victory platform to rally his generation. You, know, you have the greatest generation they took on, World War II. You have you know, the baby boomers, this huge generation that's you know, running our country now, running the world now. Well, what are millennials going to do? Um, and I believe that ending global poverty is something that we can see in the next 15 years because of our efforts.